Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable congratulations from Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of His Royal Highness being awarded the C3 Leadership Award granted by the 2021 C3 U.S. Arab Health Care and Business Summit. Her Royal Highness highlighted the admiration of the international body for the approach of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in addressing the coronavirus, which achieved remarkable success in neutralizing the repercussions of the pandemic with impressive results that resulted in the recognition of the relentless efforts exerted by Team Bahrain. Her Royal Highness lauded the sincere efforts of His Royal Highness in serving the Kingdom and congratulated him for this well-deserved international appreciation for His Royal Highness's endeavors and rich experience that meet the aspirations and goals of the comprehensive development process of His Majesty the King. In reply, His Royal Highness sent a cable of thanks to Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika. He asserted that the achievements of the Kingdom were a result of the collective efforts of Team Bahrain, in which Bahraini women had an active contribution, thanks to the progress achieved by women under Her Royal Highness's patronage and wise guidance. His Royal Highness also pledged to exert more efforts to accomplish the aspirations and visions of His Majesty the King, in order to achieve growth and prosperity for the Kingdom and the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness wished Her Royal Highness abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable congratulations from the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the occasion of His Royal Highness's being awarded the C3 Leadership Award by the 2021 C3 U.S. Arab Health Care and Business Summit. His Highness emphasized that this award recognizes the pioneering role of His Royal Highness in achieving development and prosperity in Bahrain. The award also highlights His Royal Highness's efforts in combating COVID-19 and enhancing health care in Bahrain as well as further strengthening Bahrain-U.S. relations in line with the visions and aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Development and Infrastructure Projects, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, launched the latest electronic service, Beiti.bh, in the Ministry of Housing. The platform is an interactive housing service that provides several options for citizens, such as the possibility of booking units, making reservation payments, and learning about the offers, standards, and financing requirements of banks, especially those participating in the Banzaya program. The Deputy Prime Minister affirmed that the Housing Ministry made exceptional advancements during the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa as a result of His Majesty's support and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, noting the continued efforts to build the five new housing cities to provide decent living for Bahraini citizens. The Minister of Housing, Basa bin Hamad, briefed Sheikh Khalid on the latest developments in the provision of commercial services on the lands owned by the housing bank in the new cities of Bahrain and the bank's plans to develop these lands during the next period to serve the residents of the cities and their various complexes. The minister discussed the plans of the Sharaka program to develop government lands, which is scheduled to provide 16,000 housing units over the next 10 years in line with the government's program objectives regarding providing innovative housing solutions to citizens. His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Deputy Prime Minister, uh, visit today uh, to the Ministry of Housing to inaugurate uh, Beiti.bh uh, truly reflects the support we get uh, at this ministry of whom His Majesty and uh, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Uh, uh, Beiti.bh is a major step forward towards moving into a full, fully integrated electronic uh, services which we uh, will eventually provide uh, for the beneficiaries or for the citizens. Uh, today we were privileged to uh, receive His Excellency Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah, uh, Deputy Prime uh, Minister, uh, to launch the, uh, our uh, portal for social housing, uh, uh, whereby we will have uh, various uh, housing products, uh, be it apartments or villas or in the future other uh, housing projects, to be listed in one uh, focal uh, portal 
whereby beneficiaries of Ministry of Housing Services can identify and allocate uh, the housing units that they desire. Uh, and this comes to complete the digital transformation of housing services. On the sidelines of the 76th New and General Assembly's meeting, the President of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza, delivered remotely the Kingdom's speech at the UN High Level Dialogue on Energy. Dr. Mirza conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his best wishes of success to the session. He stressed the Kingdom's keenness on boosting its international role to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals and honor its regional and international obligations pertaining mainly to the energy field. Dr. Mirza highlighted Bahrain's and attaining the national goals in the energy field. He also reviewed the latest developments in renewable energy and energy competence, highlighting cooperation within the United Nations Development Program. During the past few days, social networking sites have widely circulated pictures of Qatari detainees who are still detained by the Qatari authorities after their participation in peaceful sit-ins to demand their right to full citizenship, respect for freedom of expression, and the promotion of social justice among citizens. A number of Qatari citizens affirmed on social media that the Qatari authorities follow a policy of fleeing forward by trying to destabilize the security and stability of the countries in the region, stressing that the Qatari authorities must first address the lost rights of Qatari citizens. Activists severely criticized the Qatari media led by the state-run Al Jazeera channel, which turns a blind eye to the Qatari authorities' continued violations of public freedoms in Qatar, while not neglecting to cover events outside Qatar and market lies and slanders targeting the entire Arab world. This comes at a time when the Qatari authorities continue to detain dozens of Qatari citizens who participated in the recent peaceful protests that broke out in Qatar against the law regulating the Shura Council elections, which divided Qatari citizens into categories in blatant discrimination, as a result of which thousands of citizens were denied the right to run for office, vote or both, and it completely marginalized major groups in society. Bahrain's ambassador to the United States, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, participated in a conversation on the Gulf and world of transition at Harvard University during his visit to Boston. The ambassador highlighted the partnership and relations between the Kingdom and the U.S. in many fields and referred to the prominent role of the U.S. in promoting security, peace, and stability in the region. Sheikh Abdullah presented to the students and specialists attending the conversation examples that demonstrate the Bahraini-U.S. partnership in various areas. The most recent example is the role of the Kingdom in supporting international humanitarian efforts and relief efforts and evacuations from Afghanistan under the directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Bahrain's employment of modern technologies in the health aspect is a distinct national experience, especially with regard to supporting national efforts to address the coronavirus through the Be Aware application system. The application has become a reliable platform that keeps pace with the requirements of the health situation in its various stages in the kingdom and meets all the needs related to the pandemic, whether for individuals or those registered for the concerned authorities. The Be Aware application contributes in limiting the spread of the coronavirus in the kingdom by helping to ensure social distancing measures, monitoring contacts, displaying health and medical care facilities, in addition to providing multiple services related to vaccination and laboratory examination. 
The significant achievements and future successes of Bahrain's hospitality industry were emphasized by prominent figures in hospitality at a roundtable discussion organized by VATEL with participation of the Under Secretary of Nationality, Passport and Residence at the Ministry of Interior, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, as well as BTEA Director of Marketing and Tourism, Dr. Ali Fulad, to highlight the government's role in nurturing hospitality even during the pandemic. With the uh, government's uh, support and initiatives that uh, we have seen over the past months, uh, it has helped the hotels in, in many ways. From uh, our point of view, that things will only get better. And uh, we have seen in the last uh, you know, couple of months how uh, every, everything has rebounded positively. And uh, we are glad of that. We started the meeting by by introducing the, the effect of the uh, pandemic, COVID-19, on the, on the world tourism uh, industry. And then we moved to the, to the current situation and what was the role of uh, the government of Bahrain, which really supported, uh, supported the, the industry sector. So the idea of this event came out uh, by the fact that the industry was damaged. We noticed it as well with our communication compared to what hospitality and tourism industry. Not a lot of people were feeling concerned or were very knowledgeable about it or didn't know that much about it. So we said, how can we highlight them? How can we provide an additional knowledge, an additional fact to their knowledge in order for them to know more about the hospitality, about, to know more about the tourism and to know more about the way this industry is dealing, facing the crisis. When we're talking about the crisis, we're talking about numbers, fact figures, but it's about humanity when you look at it. And their main concern is how to keep our talent, how to attract new talent, and how to make this industry a desired industry, a desired career for the future youth of, of Bahrain and Bahrainis. Thanks to the, our uh, government, our leadership, they're always looking after their people and their, their business sector and so on. So. No worry, we are there, and inshallah, the coming days will be much, much better.